So in this video, I wanted to show everyone the Zebra Mighty Grip Mechanical Pencil. It's a pretty new mechanical pencil from Zebra. Came out at the end of 2019. And it's interesting because it does not ship with a grip installed. Rather, it comes with this sort of grippy sticker, which you could install yourself as a somewhat customizable grip. Uh, Zebra makes it out like it's fully customizable, but realistically, there's only so many ways you could wrap this sticker thing around a pencil. So it's more of a DIY grip than it is a customizable one. Anyway, it's pretty interesting. The pencil sells for, uh, I don't know, maybe $10 or so, $8, $10, something like that. The grips can be bought on their own. So uh, we'll get into all that in a minute, but here it is, Zebra Mighty Grip. It's a Japanese mechanical pencil, but it is starting to come over to some retailers here in the US. Uh, so this is it. It looks actually more like a Kuratoga, like a, a uni Kuratoga than it does a typical Zebra, but uh, that's neither here nor there, I guess. All plastic, uh, except for this front piece. Uh, I believe this is metal and this piece does I think, come off. Maybe it doesn't, it's really on there tight. But anyway, it's a pretty standard type mechanical pencil, almost all plastic. Little cap here has a replaceable eraser right there that you could use, use that area to fill it. Plastic clip, mighty grip, 0.5 millimeter. So pretty normal, pretty weak clip, short clip. This right here is a rubber band and this stays on here and this actually just protects the top of this sticker when you have it wrapped around. And then the grip section is very skinny because you have to have the grip wrapped around it and that'll compensate. And then it's just, it's a click retractable. And then this little front tip can hide or mostly hide. I think it should hide all the way, but it tends not to go in there all the way. So very simple mechanical pencil. It's like a five, six dollar mechanical pencil. No big deal there. This is the paperwork that comes with it in the little case. It's Mighty Grip. It's all in Japanese. That's just the model. Uh, and it sells in a wet and dry version. And that's not, has nothing to do with the grip itself. I mean, it has to do with the grip, but it's wet. Do you have wet or dry hands? So if you're a sweaty hand person, you want a wet. If you have a drier hand version, you want the dry. That's what that is. It doesn't have a wet feel to it. It doesn't, it's not applied wet, nothing like that. It's for people with sweaty hands. And then here's kind of the installation instructions. Obviously they're in Japanese, so you have to kind of bear with it, but you remove the long backing. It's pointing at those two sides. Those two sides are, you can see them right here. That's actually the stickers that hold it. The adhesive is just to keep the grip from collecting dust and getting uh, too gross in route. But the stickers, those two on the ends are what actually holds the grip to the pencil. And then you wrap it around. You could follow their instructions or not. Uh, there's a little star point, which is for starting. And then you put the uh, rubber band over the top of the grip and that locks it in and protects it over time. That way you just don't kind of rub it with your hand and wear it out. Pretty simple. The extra or replacement grips, I think they sell for maybe $3 each, something like that. Uh, and it's very simple. It's just the grip itself uh, in a little paper case. And it's probably some information here if you wanna grab that QR code. I haven't actually looked at it yet. And uh, that's kind of it. There's a serial number and it's only $1.50 retail or 150 Japanese yen. So that's pretty good. So here's the pencil. I would say overall, it's just fine. It's really not a notable mechanical pencil. It has no special features or fancy mechanisms or anything like that, that I know of. I've used it for a little bit. It's just a normal 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil. So let's get into the installation. I've not done this much. This is a new pencil I am unwrapping for this video. So you can see right how from the start, how it worked. And I will be using the wet option. 
So basically, first things first, you recognize that there's two sides here. The adhesive side is on this, that's the white, and then this is the side that goes out. So the first thing you do is you wanna remove this piece here, and it's definitely easier said than done. This would be a good use for some tweezers. So this film comes off. And now this is the actual grip of the pencil. And it is really quite tacky. It's like, uh, not sticky, but it's definitely tacky. So you could see why it would be good for wet hands. It, it really has a huge amount of grip to it. And now we're going to look at the pencil itself and there'll be some glare here, but you could see that there is a, a twist action, I guess a helix. Uh, and you wanna find the starting point. That's this right here, the star. And the star has a little carved out area where it's flat here and then goes down and starts to do that twist action. So what you're gonna do is you're going to line this piece up with that star. So there's a star and line it up. It's tough to see, even uh, it's not just the video that makes it hard. It's actually difficult to see because there's like, you know, it's shiny and it's black. I probably should have bought a different color for this, but uh, live and learn. So we're gonna get this here and push that down and lock it in. That's really the most important part of it because the way this is made is that the adhesive is here, but there's no adhesive here. So if you are starting to twist this and you're not happy with the twist action or you just didn't overlap as much as you want or it's uneven or something like that, all you have to do is unwind it and start over. So that's one of the nicer things about this pencil. It's uh, you could rewind it if you want. The downside of course is that there's no adhesive holding this in place. So if it gets a little bit loose or it starts to unwind because you don't have the rubber band in place, then there's nothing stopping it from repeating. This process is a lot, a lot like applying the tape to the handlebars of a racing bike, if you've ever done that. It's really similar. The adhesive, uh, this, this isn't like a cork material, but process is pretty similar. And you wanna get that angle somewhat accurate because you only have so much length to work with. And uh, I was not really paying attention there in case that wasn't obvious. But what you could do is there actually are guides here. So you can follow those guides if you want. Again, that, that won't be the most creative way to do it, but if you roughly follow that angle, then you should run out of tape pretty close to the spot at the end where the rubber band is going to cover the end of the grip. I'm giving it a pretty good pull here I don't want there to be any seams or creases or like that. I want it to have a nice, good uh, feel to it. So I'm keeping it pulled pretty tight. When you get to the end, you will simply remove the adhesive, wrap this. You know, you want it to be somewhat flat just for like aesthetic purposes. And then you actually just get this rubber band and you want to keep the, probably want to keep the zebra logo out. So you're not flipping the rubber band over it. You're just pulling it down over there without trying to, trying not to mess up your adhesive. And this will just form the end sort of cap of your grip. And this is one of those things where you could drive yourself absolutely crazy if you want everything to be perfect and lined up, or you could just do it in a second. 
So there it is. And it's the grip. It's actually skinnier than you would expect it to be. It like, it's still down a little bit from here. The like this collar is thicker than this right here. So it's a little bit awkward. And I guess if you wanted, you didn't like that, you could add more down here, but uh, down here is not really where you want to go too thick. It is pretty grippy. If you have wet fingers, this tacky material is really a nice option without having to have a huge grip, but the diameter is not very wide. So it is still a skinny pencil. Obviously you have this kind of weird rubber band thing in the middle. That won't be as bad if you distribute this a little bit more evenly. I put more at the end, so it's a little bit thicker at the end. Uh, I would say like this is uh, maybe a B, maybe a B minus type job. I'm sure you could do better with more time. It's a little hard to do this on video, but it's grippy. I would say it's pretty comfortable. It does not look very good, uh, but for wet hands or sweaty hands, this is a nice option. And then if it wears out over time or gets too dirty or it's picking up oils and stuff, then it's really easy just to take this off and put another one on. The dry material, uh, I think the dry material, like I didn't notice as big of a difference between the wet and the dry as I would have thought, uh, but the dry material is probably my preference. I find the wet to be a little bit sticky for me. The dry is it's just like you could pull your fingers along it and it has a uh doesn't have that tackiness to it the the wet is just it's a little bit too sticky for me it's like you spilled orange juice on this and let it dry it's on the sticky side the dry is definitely a little bit more in my wheelhouse one thing i wanted to do while wrapping up and see if you could add a grip to anything with this like there's nothing special about this pencil except it has a little indentation so i figured i would get this piece, put it on a pen in this case, that's not made for it and kind of just see what happens. Now, you know, I don't have the guides here and I don't have a rubber band stopping it at the top, but you know, clearly any rubber band would work there. Zebra's is nicer and it's thick and it looks cool, but <clears throat> there's nothing proprietary about it. And this one, I will go nice and flat at the end. <clears throat> so now I have an Odho Horizon pencil, or sorry, pen rather, with the dry grip from the Zebra Mighty Grip. Not bad. You know, this is definitely better than wrapping this with like, a, <clears throat> sorry, with a neoprene grip or something like that. Pen grips are not really a thing that I've gotten that good over the years. So this is not a bad option for a dollar or two. I'm not sure how long it'll last. Eventually this thing will wear out. And then this piece right here will definitely unstick. But for a dollar or $2 or whatever these grips sell for, it's a nice option. <clears throat> so that's the Zeta Zebra Mighty Grip on the Mighty Grip Mechanical Pencil and here on any pen or pencil. Thanks for watching.